September came. Another dry month in this area, heather blooms, golden rod practically already blossomed. Late flowering plants start to bloom individually among the life preparing for the winter. This autumn parcel turn out quite extraordinary. In this way, beekeepers send the queen mothers of bees. They avoid expensive journeys also. For bees, it is a fairly safe way of transport. The question arises why beekeepers send bee mothers at all? What makes almost all of them use the help of bee queen breeders? Maybe, as in this case, the beekeeper met extremely aggressive bees on his way. Perhaps he met them in his own hive after his seemingly gentle queen had met during the wedding flight of drones with genes of aggressiveness. In this case, the generation of bees after such parents can be very inconvenient for the area. It can sting and attack people in the vicinity of the hive without special provocation. Queens travel with several workers and supplies in transport cages from the breeder. It is not easy to give this warm a new mother bee if it has not been prepared for it before. This colony lost its previous aggressive queen two weeks earlier, a few days ago, on the top of beehive cage was placed so that the bees could get to know it thoroughly and even out the smell. Bees are now very calm. It is conducive to easy accepting the new queen. The cage smells nice with propolis. This bee colony remained orphaned for a long time. Thanks to this, the bees no longer have any larvae that they could be willing to bring up to their own queen. Therefore, they are forced to accept a stranger, even an alien race. Without the queen, the bee family will fall because only the queen lays eggs from which new workers can develop. It can be said that this colony mood is very conducive to the admission of the queen visible in the film. Bees are very positive about the new mother. They feed her through the net and distribute her pheromones all over the swarm. The queen also seems determined to get to the workers. She runs it one way and the other, looking for a passage. When they meet, the queen immediately freezes. She waits for the worker bees to let her into the nest. Contrary to appearances, they rule, not the queen mother. It is entirely dependent on the mood of the workers. If she makes a violent move, the workers can still kill her. A few minutes later she is sure of the good intentions of the workers. She does not feel threatened and begins to move with them after the cage. Now surrounded by a favorable dawn of workers can become their new queen. The royal retinue will accompany until the end of her life, will feed her and protect against the dangers. A few hours after accepting the new queen, this one begins to lay eggs. She travels around the nest searching for free cells. However, it is not always easy to accept a new queen by the workers as it was in previous case. This powerful laser allows to the beekeeper easily eliminate the defective queen for various reasons. In this case, the queen's offspring are very aggressive. It is an interracial hybrid. The dead aggressive queen was tortured by irritated workers. The colony was deprived of the queen, but her pheromones are still distributed throughout the swarm. Leaving the body of the previous queen was intentional. Her pheromones suppress the workers' momentum to set up so-called queen cells, what means cells in which a new queen can develop from a young larva. In addition, the disturbed composition of pheromones causes that workers will find it increasingly difficult to distinguish an intruder from members of his own family. Here is the intruder, the new queen of gentle so-called but first royal breeding line. This time, the new queen is very uncertain. One worker betrayed the reluctant mood of the swarm, clung to the net, biting her and bending the body in a bow. Then it adheres to the mesh and moves the abdomen nervously. The queen senses the threat, so she starts to run nervously, but soon the hunger will force her to descend near the workers. A moment later she decides to sense towards the net separating her from the workers. However, she considers every step avoiding their dangerous mandibles. The swarm is reluctant. The 
queen makes sounds that somewhat hinder the negative reactions of the workers. They are very characteristic and loud. If she gets caught by the workers she squeaks even louder. The negative reaction of the workers is intensifying. The bees are pushing the net tightly against it. The bee mother also freezes to not provoke and wary to her workers. Queen avoids the workers as much as she can. Bend the body in a notch so that the workers who gather below do not sting her, increase the distance, and at the same time transmit their pheromones. Their workers bite net, and if they hold with mandibles the queen's body they are able to sting her and mortally wounded. Royal pheromones, however, are distributed by the kindly to the new queen workers, whom several will always find. They lick the queen through the net, feed and spread the smell of the new queen slowly, swarm then getting used to it. Meanwhile, the dead queen pheromones of the previous queen are disappearing. Three days later, some workers felt orphaned and founded a queen cell. It is a honeycomb cell in which a young bee larva develops. Bees feed such larva in a special way, thanks to which a young queen develops from it. As long as the workers have the opportunity to bring up a new queen from their own larvae, the adoption of the new queen is uncertain. Therefore, all queen cells built by bees should be destroyed. Now the workers, as before in this film, have no choice and are forced to accept a new queen mother. The mood of the bee colony changes next day. Bees bite the net still but they do it much more gently and not nervously. More and more workers help their new mother. Workers biting the net although are in the minority and still are a threat to the queen. Therefore, it is still necessary to wait for the release of the queen. Unfriendly workers are easy to recognize, bite or jerk the net. They are nervous, they often cling to the mesh in the mandibles. Those who accept the queen lick her and feed her. Another bee family who is in a similar situation with their new queen, has already accepted her completely. Workers leave the distance between themselves and the queen. They lick the queen and taking pheromone from the queen's body. A large group of workers try to feed their new queen. This queen is already accepted, that is why it is the right moment for the admission of workers. The cage will be turned away and the workers will gain unlimited access to their new queen. Bees are very calm as well as the queen. After efficient detachment of the cage, the rotation takes place and the queen is at the mercy of her new workers. Bees first very shy, then faster and with noticeable joy in the form of raised legs and abdomen, slightly shaking the body, they approach the new queen with caution. Some push a tongue toward her. The queen is also happy and calm. He does not sit tightly clinging to one place but begins to walk with the workers. A few minutes later, the queen descends lower and walks along the nest with her royal retinue. She is accepted. The queen replacement was successful and this colony will survive the winter in good witness.